All right, I think everything is set. Starting a couple seconds late here. There was cat and dog drama. There was getting the bearded dragon camera up and running a little bit better. Let's see, switch scenes, run the right scene. Everything looks like it's showing correctly. Audio level looks good. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully we're ready to go then. So yeah, thanks, or welcome to Gravisers, I would say. Um, the DDO Polish community who was streaming a little bit ago. That was pretty neat. I'm fascinated by languages, so I like... Uh, Experiencing different languages, even if I don't necessarily understand them, it's still fun for me to hear them and all that. I have some banking to do, it looks like. So, uh, welcome, uh, DDO stream. This is Twitchy Tuesday with Simorgu. That's me. Skunk, I do not speak Polish, sorry. Well, the little bit of Polish I speak, I really shouldn't speak during this channel. I have learned some not so nice words, but that's about it. Pretty sure I have a stack of those in there. And junk. This is yet again one of those characters that doesn't have uh, inventory space. So always tricky to manage, especially when you need to stock things like thieves' tools and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So, what's going on this week? Um, yeah, we've got the new streamer on Tuesday, two new streamers on Thursdays. So, that's cool. Nice to see some of the dead spots in the calendars getting fixed up. And the dog is about to get some peanut butter, so... Yeah, because that's the fun ones to be able to know what to say, right? Um, actually, my grandmother was Polish. My dad spoke a bit of Polish. So um, that's where I learned it from. My dad cursing. And my grandmother cursing, for that matter. Uh, this is the same character I was on... Saturday when I was streaming, so it was my non-DDO stream, my personal channel stream there on uh, Saturday. It uh, should still be on Twitch, and it's also on YouTube, if you care to look that up and watch that, in case you missed it. Um, this character was level 12 last week, and now it's 18, which for me is huge. I usually uh, get heroic XP that fast. Maybe a level or two in a week's time, but with the XP bonus and a lot of people were running stuff, it just uh, worked out. I was happy for it, that it did. Um, friends in the pa places. I should do that again, but. Hey, look, they need a trapper. High road. Hero Elite. That would be good. I should do that. So this is an 18 rogue. Um, thank you to client side, I believe who it was that uh, donated a bunch of gear to me to really help. Um, I we were discussing build. He also, also, client side also helped me a lot with the build. I must say I, I did some respecking um, after our conversation on Saturday, and it has helped a bunch. So. Yeah, thank you. And I'm going the wrong way for what I'm trying to do. Um, I was thinking Lords of Dust, not the other end of that chain, Evening Star. So, uh, this is a dex base because that's how I built it Rogue, Assassin, with some trapping. Let's put it that way. Um, 
this is the character that I got some hate for a while back. Uh, first life, heroic. Couldn't find traps or disable them. Just didn't have the gear. Um, so I did some rebuilding on it and went more for trapping so that I could actually see the stuff and then got a little bit of gear moved over. But I had my bank on other characters, found some decent rogue gear to put on and then it sat there for a while because I really didn't feel like playing it after that. Um, just joined. Alright, so let's see if I can join that. And uh, pretty much just bought ran it once in a while, or at least logged on once in a while just to see what was going on and didn't really run it very much. And then uh, last week, after I kept my bard, uh, never mind then. They're actually somewhere else. They had an old LFM up. That's not fun. So if I can find friends in low places, I can join this other one then. Um, let's see, that's in Wayloon, so I need to go up here. So yeah, um, decided after I capping my bard, which my bard is now 20, which I'm happy about. I'm not sure exactly when that happened. I don't remember if it was Saturday or Thursday or somewhere between. I don't remember where we left off. I think my bard was 18-ish when we left off on last... Week, but I don't remember. So yeah, I got my bar up to 20 and then still want to take advantage of that heroic XP bonus, so I went ahead and did the... Uh, uh, one second, forgot to do that. There we go. And uh, yeah, so it's an uh, interesting difference playing this character. So Wayland Friends in Low Places is crap. Where is that? I wanna say it's the one that's sort of straightish out, but I don't remember for sure. I might have to look it up here. That was fun, I was standing midair for a second. Uh, Waylon. In prison. Heroic map. Friends in low places is pretty much straight west, but isn't it weird to get there? I don't know. We'll see. The one by the, sh the shrine by the entrance, okay. I have very rarely been out here, so I'm not too familiar with how to get everywhere. But thank you for the information. Uh, yeah. I know we just did this the other day in that group I was in that came in here. But we were taking strange paths. We were dipping up and down to get uh, the Explorer stuff and all that, so... It's right there. Now, how do I get to it? This one you have to come up and around to get to. No. Looks like I can get through it right here. Oh, that's Charmander. That's not it, is it? Nope. That's not where I thought it was. It's on the left. Oh, it's the one down there. Duh. It looks like I forgot to regrab the quest, too. So this might not go well. Oh, that's right, because you're in the drainage bit. Yep, I'm not on the quest. 
Well, I hate to do this, but I might go ahead and uh, ask them to share, please. No, I don't need to. I can red box it. Once. I mean, there we go. It's in the party. I can red box it. That's cool. And here's hoping I can catch up right way. I don't know, Titan, hold on. I'll check the guild list here in a second. The elder thanks you for protecting the camp. We will be safe now. Take this crest. It will help you gain entrance to Harvest Hall. Uh, it's 26 looks like it. So they said they went this way. There's guys there, so it doesn't seem like the right way to go. Seems like I want to go this way. Hey, Seljuk, how's it going? Hope you're doing well today. Thanks for joining and watching. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, I have these two. Just disabling some traps for the party here. Yeah, they were streaming uh, a little bit ago. They just ended about 45 minutes ago. Um, but they will be coming back next week, um, same time, which is from 3 o'clock to 4.30 p.m. Central, I believe. Um, I guess we forgot to change the title of the stream for my show, but that's cool. Yeah, no problem. You're welcome to stay around and watch me play, but if you're wanting the Polish folks, then as far as I know, they're only streaming uh, Tuesdays at that time I mentioned. 
They just started this week as far as I'm aware. Oops. Yeah, really gotta be careful about that site. Oh, I was curious to know what would happen if uh, somebody else started streaming, and I guess we know now. Yeah, it's bad for an interrupt somebody else's stream like that. Yeah, I posted their blog post earlier about it. You've ended the attack on this camp. The grateful natives take down the barricade so you can proceed to Harvest Hall. So it's a bit of a pain, but everybody had to reset their passwords and all that fun stuff. You know, there's been so many security things that's happened recently, password breaches and all that, and I know some people who work in security that, you know, it's going to happen, basically. You just got to make sure that, as a company, you're taking proper precautions, and you have a plan in place to do what they did, basically, is say, okay, everybody, reset your passwords, that's what we can do, and, uh hope that everybody does their passwords correctly, which is, you know, use a password manager, have a random password, all that fun stuff. Um, have complicated passwords, use a different password for every site, all the stuff that's really basic security anymore. Um, you got to do it. So when it happened, I was like, oh, oh, well, this is just a pain. It's an inconvenience, not a big deal. Yeah, basically skunk. I'm still surprised at how many people do that, or they use the same password for everything. It's... Of course, I've been always been kind of security privacy conscious, so I've never done that. I hate this block stuff. Ah, that's the weirdest thing about a rogue that I have not yet used to is that you have to be facing whatever you're disabling the entire time. Anything else, like a chest or whatever, you can open whenever you want and face the other way and all that, but not traps. Traps are different. Yeah, and even the, the examples they gave on their Twitch's blog were kind of ho-hum. As if somebody who's doing that kind of attack wouldn't just substitute those characters for those letters. But the intent was in the right place. Yeah. I don't know. I, I find it just as easy to use a password manager and have a different for every site and then just have my one password for the password manager and not remember any of the, any of the other ones. It's fine to me. It can get kind of annoying sometimes, but 
you know, using Dropbox or Spider Oak or something to sync the my password file to all my devices makes it fairly easy. And you know, some people don't care. I understand that. But uh, it kind of depends on how attached you are to your account on wherever it is that you're using the password on. If you don't care, you want to use a different account, you don't have any investment in it, then, you know, who cares? If it's basically a throwaway, then, you know, you're right, who cares? I had that on several sites, but I really didn't care, so I didn't worry about it, but if you care at all about it and you want, then, uh, want to keep it, then it's a good idea to take some proper precautions. How many traps are in this place that we didn't get any bonus for the traps? It's kind of annoying. Yeah. That's why I do the password manager thing, so I only have to remember one password, and then the rest are all in there, so I don't have to worry about it. Because, yeah, my memory is not good. Let's just put it that way. Wow. Laggy as heck. I have no idea where I am. Am I here? Am I there? Am I anywhere? if I can. Well, this video will help too. This is not fun. Look at this horrible lag for no apparent reason. Looks like we're doing better now-ish. Ah, I should assassinate him. Oh well. Yeah, the two things I needed that I didn't have as a, on this rogue were wow, where is um, the faster sneaking and assassinate. Now that I have those, it's so much nicer. Really enjoy it. If the door would come up. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm more concerned about an account takeover or impersonation than I am about that part. You know? I have seen Morgu as my name a lot of places, and I'd like to keep it that way. So, you know. People get annoyed at me because my uh, wireless password is really long. Like, 60 plus characters long. Completely random. And they come over and like, what the heck is this? Why can't you just tell me your... I do, no, I gotta look it up and show it to you because I don't have it memorized. And they see it and they're like, oh my god. This is going to take me like half an hour to type in. But that's just where I'm comfortable having things. I know somebody, somebody's... Passwords don't steal my Wi-Fi. That's what what it is. So, just different ways to do the same thing. 
Oh, are we doing a Zergy run thing here? Or no? I can't tell what's going on. So I found that the assassinate ability works really good on uh, champions. It's awesome. I do hate when it has to come off a of cooldown, though. That's annoying. Yep, that's kind of the way I feel. That's why for the longest time I had most of my accounts on uh, invite only, for lack of a better term. You know, I have the accounts, but they're I don't want to just Joe blow off the street looking at what I'm doing. Just not what I'm a fan of. That's why I prefer using Spider Oak over Dropbox and things like that. Just, you know what? No one needs to know. <laughs> it really was. That's hilarious. So I bet they don't allow that anymore. I bet you had to change that quite a bit. Or is it just an advisory thing now? I thought I didn't. I couldn't tell if it was a required thing that was more complex now, or it was just an advisory thing. But that's, you know, like you hear of the password list that come out every year and the top passwords from the latest batch of intrusions and the top password is password or 1234 or love or money. You know, one of those really common ones that you, everybody saw in, uh, what was that movie? Not Sneakers. Um, what was that movie? Angelina Jolie early movie had Pendulette in it as the bad guy. <laughs> I think just the first million digits of pi, you know, something easy to remember. It is re really easy enough to have a standard password and vary just something for each site. It's like your password is, you know, password one two three four, and then at Twitch it's which password one two three four and you know if somebody gets one of them they'll it doesn't help that but it does help in the just brute for, force guessing department yeah there's different ways to look at it a lot of it's personal preference but I just find it easier to use a password manager and randomize it all of course I've got my password file backed up so many places So if we lose that, then it's going to be a pain to get them all back. A gate unlocks in the distance. A new Did I miss that assassinate? That's bull. The voice taunts you from somewhere quite close. Do you understand that laugh? That's not a bad idea. See, that's a system that, you know, is kind of obscure, but is easy enough for you to remember. It's a nice system. Marked up. 
Uh, the one thing I really dislike, even with the rogue speed boosts, it's not enough. <laughs> Could really use more speed while sneaking. Well, in general, I, mean, I, fan I find myself behind even when not sneaking, let alone when sneaking. Hey, Callie, open the door, yeah? You found someone's hidden stash of treasure, yet wasting time may endanger That's the other thing about parties, is they expect you to know where every locked thing and hidden thing is Voice calls from behind a wall looting some poor prisoners meager possessions you should free yourself from material wants like your friend here he'll never want for anything again one of your allies has died the champion where the champion go so by the time I catch up to him, somebody else has killed them. <laughs> oh, you didn't skunk? That's the reason I, I thought I was going to go Iconic was to get all the classes a lot faster. I didn't realize you weren't aware of that. That's the whole reason I thought it was awesome, because you get two, the two past life feats for it. Which seemed like a no-brainer. Like, why wouldn't you do that? So I guess you're gonna do a bunch of iconic lives now. Oh my God! Why will I? I really don't like that message, and I don't understand it. I'm sneaking behind a guy. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, why would you not do that? It's it's going to save some time and effort. And save you from doing the, those early heroics a lot more. <clears throat> not that you, it slows you down, I'm sure, at this point. You probably just walk through them and doesn't take very long to get up into the more interesting levels anyway, but... Yeah. Definitely. I think I'm going Shader Car next on this particular character. That is a weird position to be in. We're going down. Okay. If it's obvious, this is one of the quests I don't do very often, so I've done it maybe three or four times total. Just follow the crowd. I don't know it. The voice calls out once again. We meet at long last. You can now see that the voice. Yeah. We're still working our way through on, the, on my Thursday night static group. Every quest in the game on Elite were possible. We did Litany last week. That was fun. Litany four times. Unfortunately, one person wasn't there, so we didn't get everybody flagged. But every. Somebody else is flagged, so if somebody else drop, misses a week or something, it's not going to be a big deal. And we started getting it down where the first time, none of us was that familiar with it. And someone had never done it. I've done it like four, the four or five times it took me to get um, flagged, but other people hadn't done it ever, so it was interesting to see everybody's reaction to the different pieces. I took the talking piece, but that was just for efficiency's sake. Because it did take a while to get through all those runs. But we also had to get another eye for the... Oh, it was so stupid. We spent two weeks doing Orchard. 
to get uh, everybody flagged for Litany. And then we ended up after two weeks with everybody but one being flagged and one person was missing one eye and that was it. And we could not get it. We did explorers, we did quests, could not get it. And then we finally ran uh, flesh makers twice and the second one we pulled two eyes. <laughs> no wiki though, there's a restriction. There's a restriction. Wow. Yeah. That makes it really interesting. Yeah. It's really interesting that we doing all the quests because some of them I had never seen, some of the others I had never seen, and then other people had had or hadn't run in a while, and they're like, "Wait a minute, this used to be difficult. That's why we haven't been running, hadn't run it in a while." And all of a sudden, this is cakewalk. What the heck? What are we doing? So yeah, it, it's been fun. I'm really enjoying it. I, I, I like knowing that we'll have Max favor from quests at least when we're done. So that's you know, a nice benefit of it. I'm not sure if there's enough quest favor to go to 5k yet for the tome, but at least we'll have that, and then the rest shouldn't be any big deal to get. Ah, oh, Shadowfell. I hate Shadowfell. Can I disable that? No, it's out of range. Well, just in case, I can disable that. <sighs> really don't like the purple effects. Yeah. Well, even just um, being in a full group of six with everybody you know geared out reasonably well and then the new ship buffs we didn't even we we're not even using the old ship buffs we're looking we're using the new ones pretty much uh, we don't usually use those other ones the older ones um, and we don't always keep up on gear and everything but even with just that I mean we have you know allowed to be able to use bank stuff auction house and all that so it's not that big of a deal but yeah it's smooth sailing through most things so it's been interesting and then the things that have hit us have hit us pretty hard because then you know we're used to sailing through and all of a sudden if there anything happens like whoa what happened you know there's occasional you know i'm running new monks so i'll run out first and die or something that's you know, not a big deal but the uh some things have wiped us or almost like uh adq was rough even the pre pre raid was rough because none of us really knew it very well. We knew pieces of it, but we didn't have a good idea about the whole thing. Because one problem was, you know, in the guild there used to be a couple real power gamers, and they would just you know run everything. You just sort of followed along as best you could, and it was done before you even realized what was going on. Whereas we're not necessarily that fast, but we're not. Flower stuff, and we're just sort of, you know, getting through it. Not horribly fast, but getting through it. What? Missed my assassination attempt. That should be happening. Nice. Get back here, you. Oh. And they run away in the middle of my assassination attempt. Come here, I'm trying to kill you. Stop running. I'm trying to one shot you. Why are you running?
And uh, yeah, I'm still first life. The SO is first life. There's one guy who's second life, and then the other three are third plus life. <laughs> no, <laughs> permadeath is not for me. I don't mind like the semi-death rules that the minions play under, where it's you know you get penalties. See you, Cordovan. But uh, true permadeath, no, and definitely not that character deletion permadeath thing Cordovan was talking about last week on the fling. Oh heck no, that's nowhere. No, 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 not for me at all. I don't mind playing with the restrictions. I think I understand why people do that. Make things a little more interesting for themselves, but I don't know. We were talking about that last week. Um, we're not sure what we're going to do uh, after we finish all the quests in the game, which is going to be, you know, probably another year. I would guess at the rate we're going. Cause then we have to do everything on Epic Elite, which is going to be fun. Because that's a big difference. That's going to be a big, probably, uh, nasty, suddenly, <sighs> people need to get out of my line of sight. Why are they not? Large drawbridge block wood groans against metal in the distance as the gate to the shade's tower opens. Go back where? So we'll see what happens with that group, but I'm still having a blast being able to uh, do that. I really like the whole static group thing. I would like to potentially join another one, but it's kind of hard to... Uh... I don't know where he is. I'm having a hard time following somebody. I don't know where they, are, where they went. Yeah, here doesn't help. I don't know where you are. There you are. I just took you out, dog. I don't know why you're looking at me like that. So yeah, welcome to those who have joined. Feel free to say hello in chat. I am definitely liking the different playstyle of the rogue, though. It'll be interesting to see what happens. With the update and everything, I probably can't assassinate that, can I? Nope. Over this way. Oh, 
Oh, howlers. Howlers suck. Sometimes the fight is just to stay alive. I am pretty squishy still. This one. Yep. Be a decent chef XP for this one then. Hey, Iron Hands, welcome. How's it going? Oh, yeah, I did add some augments to that gear too, so. I'm not. I didn't look up the. Uh, gear for the uh, Shade Archive, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be getting when I do that, but if nothing else, I have a pretty hot, solid gear set. Uh, much better Iron Hands. Much better. And I have the wrong gear on again. Get my fight gear on. Yeah. I'm now level 18, um, having a much easier time of things. Got the traps happening. Got the assassinations happening. Yeah. Just overall working a lot better. A lot better than it was. Still a bit squishy. I gotta be careful to manage aggro. And uh, the people are distracted before I do stuff, but other than that. Definitely going well. Compared to what was happening. And I just realized I forgot to my poison blades entirely. Venom blades, whatever it's called. <sighs> Jerk. Alright, now we should go get out of here. Oh, the purpleness. Purpleness hurts. That's funny. Pop outside and get XP. Yeah. And uh, it hit me pretty hard. <laughs> so... Yeah. I would really like to get over to Stormhorns and pick up that... Uh, what's it called? That ring that gives you MRR and PR. 
That would help quite a bit, I think. Yeah, and just one hit. Well, I've only got, what, 374 hit points-ish? So... And obviously, even with 30% run speed bonus, I do not run fast enough. So I've got those bracers. Uh, give me the con. I've, did I go back? And, I can't remember where I am. And I reset my enhancements a bunch. And I might have reset some even more because I think I screwed up the first time. But so I'm not exactly sure where they, where they are right now. I think I took some toughness, but I may not have yet. Maybe in the plan for next bits. Cause those. Yeah, the Guardian Ring, that, thank you. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah, I think that would help a bunch on this. Although, I did swap one ring for another, and I don't remember what I did. So I had the Fortification Ring, and I just... I got a blue Heavy Fort Augment put in my armor so to free up that slot. And then I'm wearing a different ring now. I can't remember what it is. Oh, I'm wearing the uh, Cove Ring now. So yeah, I can definitely put the Guardian's Ring in. Guardians ring place of the uh, cove ring. It was just that cove ring gave me more decks, which helps with my build at the moment. The other thing I would I would change if when I TR this character is to definitely go in based at the moment. It just doesn't seem any reason not to go in based. Oh my gosh. So more in, more con. Basically, oh, we're getting spread out. I don't know where people are. We're lagging all the heck. If any run me, hopefully I'll kind of back through here. Nope. Can't do that. Oh, look, a beholder. In theory, in theory, I could stealth and assassinate him. Or even just hit him once. Here we go. This lag is pretty horrible at the moment. I don't know what we did to offend the squirrels running the servers, but... Oh, I got held. That's awesome. Ha! <laughs> I got held and the guy chased me got kite got, uh... Leashed. That's awesome. This this is fun. Your kind will never understand. Responds the Shade Archive. The Shadow Curse. Yeah, it's usually not oh hey, when did I get hit that bad? Because he must. Well I had that by time better. Oh. I would have uh, assassinated somebody. <laughs> Hamsters, squirrels, whatever. You realize that I can come in here by myself? Alright, do it your way. You discover a key while searching the desk. Searching the clutter reveals nothing of interest. 
Looks like they got it first try. That usually doesn't happen like that. In the couple times I ran this quest. At least. Or maybe it is squirrels, but they all have yogurt cups, yogurt cups stuck in their heads. Maybe that's it. Ow. See, that's what's supposed to happen. I show up and things die. Exactly how it's supposed to happen. Pay attention to somebody else, I sneak up behind him and say, Sneak attack, see ya. Carla calls to you from behind the safety of a grate. You must be the one who has left there. You think you can kill more? I definitely feel that being up here and out of the way, my squishiness to survive is the best way to help the party. Because everybody has like one and a half to two times as many hit points as I have at least. people lurking. Glad you stopped in and check us out this evening. I am Sue Morgan, part of the community stream team. There are a number of us players who stream on this channel. This is the official DDO channel. Dropped into this zerging group here and I'm basically trying to keep up and not die. Of the two, not dying is preferable. I'd like to keep up as well, but if there's a choice, I'd rather not die. Not getting quite so good on the XP this time. Basically, just trying to get to 20 on this rogue. I don't really have any hurry to do it, but. I do you want to get up there? I feel like I'm doing okay for my level, um, and the fact that I'm first life, not great, so. Let's have a look at my enhancements real quick. You see I got the full sneak attack and the healing stuff, except for the bottom extra here. Mostly assassin, a little bit of mechanic. Uh, the thief acrobat just for this the power. Yeah, I did take the hit points from Harper Agent, so that's that. Needed to get that uh, extra hit points. Just Necessity, really. With how squishy I am, those 15 extra hit points help a lot. If you have any other curiosities after we get through this run here, I'll be happy to show off a little more. Carla 
Aleph moves to attack, his face a twisted mixture of rage and joy. Karlef lashes out with his spiked chain, tripping Aleph. Make his stop! Scream. Make his stop! The captive falls to the ground, dead due to Karlef's cruelty. Yeah, I went and got him again because um, I really needed the healing, but I went, made sure I had the other necessary stuff first, and that made all the difference. Rarely going for the heals first, which is what I had done. So having heal that can you know get rid of all sorts of stuff for you. Is really nice. Now that I have the leeches thing, I can get rid of even more stuff. Oh, that's nice. I have some buffer words in here. Okay. I don't understand what we're trying to do other than, other than stay alive. Alright. Let me see if I can find... Um... I need... Sorry, I have a text I'm trying to reply to. I'm trying to look up some information. One of our friends is out, and I have to... We had to check on their house and stuff. And I forget the uh, code to do that. And let's see, the other place it might be is not here because, yep. Alright, sorry about that. They're all in Paris. So, hey, Mist, how's it going? Um, oh, that'd be cool. Using an orb weaver to play DDO. That would be kind of neat. Huh. Yeah, nothing's gonna trump that. I don't think. Maybe. Wow. 
Oh, we gotta do mirror. Fun stuff. So I hope I got the right code. I thought Facebook had uh, things, birthdays listed, but I can't find it on there. So I'm going to sit in here until people come back and I'm going to continue looking, make sure I got the right one. How do you find somebody's birthday? I'm pretty sure it gives me the birthday alert. Born. Oh, oops, wrong one. I found it finally. Alright. I had to go to about and then contact and basic info, but ah, uh, yes, the calendar would help too. Dog, what are you staring at me for? Seriously. Why are you staring at me? I took you out not so long ago, buddy. No comprende. If I can walk up behind. Arr! Hate that. You walk up behind somebody to assassinate them, and they keep walking, and they're they're moving so much faster than you, you can't assassinate them. That's been my pet peeve of this whole thing. Uh, let's see. What Entirely too much by whatever that is. See, is that so hard to ask for? Just walk up and assassinate somebody. That's what I want. That's all I want. Just to be able to walk up and assassinate somebody. Well, let's see what the big deal is. Some of these monsters can move way too fast. I should have sold loot. Oh, I got some spaces left. Not many. I'm just trying to one-shot you. I don't know why you're running away. I don't get it. One of the fact that I trigger my ability and for some reason they can run away and run away. Oh, mirror thing. I forgot about that.
Within the glass of the small mirror, you see a strange, shadowy reflection of the room around you. Then, suddenly, you are pulled into the shadow. Looks like we're still trying to get people to enter. This quest, if you haven't done it before, is really weird. It's interesting in a way, it's mostly annoying. Depending on how you like the whole purple thing. Good XP per minute, as I understand it, but I don't understand the way to uh, oops, no, advanced graphics. make it. Oh, that's so much better. I understand kiting, but it's really hard for me to do while sneaking because they run so fast. I am so trying to help you. It's so not working very well. I've got that pair of daggers that uh, client side gave me. All right, so I'm wearing two of these. I don't have anything in the slots yet, but they're the Guardians of Liturgy. I've got the Ring of Shadows on, those Constitution plus six hit point plus 10 brazers. Assassin of the Initiate Leathers, that's where I put my Heavy Fort Augment in. Dream Pfizer, I put Blindness Immunity in. Shades Hood, already had the power. Intelligence 6. <sighs> Necklace. And then um, I upgrade my Spyglass to level 16. I had a level 8 one before. Cloak of Night I upgrade to 16. And then the Skullduggery kit I've got on, I put a Diamond of Wisdom in there. And then the Ring of the Buccaneer. And then I put the Fear Immunity in the Backstabber's Gloves. And does that cover everything? Oh, and then the boots. I have those. Uh, I put a diamond strength in there because I, I had one lying around. I got the golden greens. It's trading plus 20 in the DR3. So, yeah, I'm doing pretty decently on gear. Um, of course, now it's kind of outdated, but I figure I'm probably going to be leveling from 15 plus. Anyway, so as long as I have my gear set around 15, I can coast most of the way. Why, if I'm sneaking, can I not assassinate sometimes? Just like when you're trapping, you can't do it sometimes it's, it's blocked for no apparent reason. This door has been blocked off. The door here has been sealed off with bricks. Do, 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 do. There must be another path. So basically this map's double-sided, and you have to go both sides. get through everything.
inside me or anything. Someone's in the uh, other room. Understand. Yeah, I find myself wanting a ring or something now. I'm like, oh, I wish I had put something. Kept something just for that eventuality. But I found something that I moved over. I think I put it in my shared bank, but I mean, I'm going to put it in my. Uh, over to my uh, crafter to use. It's so easy to get behind and lost in this quest. So very easy. Nice, yeah. Always got to keep an eye out for items that are useful that you can put the Rizia thing on. I keep doing that. I'm like, oh, I should put it the uh, Festival Icy or something. Oh, wait a minute, that's named. Crap. Can't quite do that. people in three different places. I don't know. People know what's going on. People don't know what's going on. I'm not sure which I'm following at any given moment. Yep. Madeline is very helpful. That's why I was using that turbulent epe on my bard. Anytime you can not have to worry about what weapon you're using, it, it's awesome. From out of the darkness. She seems to have been expecting you. At the moment, I don't even know what these things I have on. I don't see any traps, so. Assume we're okay. Oh, that's a mimic. How about that? Yeah, like the uh, couple items there are that are both metaline and uh, aligned. That's just why would you not get those? <laughs> just have around if that's your type. 
of weapon, then, uh, yeah. I suppose we're going into the other. I don't know what we're doing anymore. I'm so confused. Took the arcane stuff at least. Alright, dropping in to sneak. And assassinating something. Nope. Not sure why that doesn't work sometimes. I do have something weird though. I, shouldn't I be able to put two of the same same item in my uh, weapon slots to equip? Because it's not letting me do that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Artie, give me good and silver. Um, wait a minute. You, I can't do that for you. Sorry. Well, if you would take care of the mobs, then. You got a champion, a car arcanist, a mage, and a worshiper sitting right here, throwing spells at everybody. <sighs> yep. Yeah, I I hate to have to ask an arty for something. If they do something, that's fine, but I hate to have to ask. Oh yeah, I'm not prepared. I don't have this. What do I? What are these even? These are bleed and heart seeking plus fives. Considering their daggers and their windy ten, that's not bad. I just haven't figured out what to put in the red slots there yet, and I think I've. Do I have another? Yeah, I have a colorless slot here, and I thought I had one somewhere else that I wasn't sure what to put in. I don't want to blow the minimum level necessarily in case I do a. Full TR. Place the light orbs on their pedestals to grant further access to the Nexus. The trainer is dead. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind if, you know, I get busted part of everybody doing their thing, but, uh, we were doing, oh, what's that, end of the cold bolt, I think, and we, ha we got that, uh, I got frost weapons there at the end for all those flame things, and that helped a lot. Man, that helped a lot. That was awesome. A cluster of glowing eyes darts in the darkness, betraying a shadow beholder's hiding spot. And of course, I usually enjoy getting deadly. Anytime. You mean, uh, these? I've got one already. I'm ready for that. Yeah, I just... I don't think I've grouped with my arty much. I think I've mostly soloed my arty. So, I would know for sure on that. Uh. 
Yeah, I'm not used to playing a uh, two weapon fighter, so I, I for, or two handed fighter, yeah, whatever you want to say. No, it's two weapon, right? Two weapon, two handed, two handed is one. Yeah, two weapon fighter. That's right. I am not used to that, so the whole needing two copies of everything is a little weird. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I might. It, my Artie might be the next character I try to bring up into epics. That was a fun character to play. But again, I guess you get stuck in the 12 to 16 area. Now that you have all of the so you just sort of sit there. If I don't hop on and see a group neatly, then I go to a character that I know I can group with her. Unless I feel like soloing. But I usually don't feel like soloing heroics. I gotta say, I enjoy. Whoa, I enjoy heroics much more when I uh, am grouped. Whereas the epics, I don't mind soloing. I can have just as much fun sometimes soloing as grouping. Oh, this constant back and forth. Never know where I'm supposed to be going. Missed one. At this point, I'm not going back for anything. Though. Oh, this is the one on the ledge, isn't it? Yep. Some time to go back. No, maybe not. There you go. I'm so confused. Are we going back? Hey Slacker, how's it going? Need four of each orb, I believe, in here. No, I actually don't do wildernesses. I just don't see the points in there grinding, but I've noticed that sometimes that's all there is to do with levels, so I go ahead and Yeah. That's Yeah. I agree with you on that, Iron Hands, but that's why I try to find groups, or I switch to a different uh, character, generally. Okay, so now we're there. He is. Again, 
I mean, I've, I've been doing Veil vale Slayers because that's what people are doing, and I can find groups for it there and then get some XP at least. But between that and like, you know, Thunderhome, of course, Slayers are worth it because there's just enough XP out of that that it's worth it. Chess cannot be picked. Oh, dude, here is why. Wow, there's like four chains going at once. How are we supposed to survive that? By assassinating a couple people, of course. That's how you survive that. Assassinate the assassins. Alright. That should make things a little bit easier. Yeah. seen enough experience out of those to make it worthwhile. Hey, I'm an assassin. I don't know what her problem is. See you, Iron Hands. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I know people do that, but... Oh, it's another freaking mimic, isn't it? I hate that they're playing bullcrap. Alright. I tend to not do that. I tend to not complete sagas. So, there's sagas, and then I don't hero reincarnate so if I do the uh, epic slayers it's only once That's usually what I've seen. Xerxion.
Well, yeah, makes sense. But yeah, you just kill until you're close to the next one, and then you uh, hop out. And then when you come back, you do your uh, last couple kills, and you're done. Nice of him to sit there and whip while I was sneak attacking him from behind. Sneak attack, buddy. How do you like that? Okay, this character doesn't voice, by the way. I need to go back and get that at some point. But undead heavy quests aren't really my strong suit, so... It's uh, easy to uh, just keep half the party on each side, and there's not really enough mobs to worry about. Oh, I have an eyelash in my eye, so I'm going to take a quick break here and uh, deal with that, which is really annoying.
right, sorry for that. I also came home from the store right as I was finishing up with my eyelash problem, and uh, yeah. So, oops. See, that's those other quests. Uh, who do I need to talk to? All right. Hey, look, Shades Hood. That looks familiar. I wonder why that looks familiar. I sub presume that drops in one of the quests as a, a leak. So this is only normal. Morning Star. I have at least one of those somewhere. Eh. I might have equipped that had I not already had this. Go through press trophy. This one for Heroes Leathers. Uh, it's not worth swapping for. It's nice, but not worth swapping for. Yeah. Take the tails. Alright, well that, between last night's run of the rest of those and that finishing it off, that should help my uh, saga quite a bit to have those done. Is there a saga just for those? I don't think there is. I thought there was a wider saga. I mean, there's the chain, of course, but uh, let's go ahead and head over to the bar. And the mailbox, too, of course. Yay, more free DDO points. Turbine points. Whatchamacallit. Things. Bless. Anything interesting here? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can probably switch over. Titan, you still around? Oh, I got a sapphire resist name. I didn't see that. That's cool. Oh, I've got invisibility clicky. I'm not going to worry about that. I'll repair all my junk. So I'm ranked 93. So I'm getting there. Not quite there yet, but I'm getting there. Um, now would be a good time to do promo real quick. So this is out of date, I will say, because we have the DDO Polish people streaming um, before my stream from 3 to 4.30 on Tuesdays. And we've got two people streaming on Thursdays, and I do not know their names or times off the top of my head. Um, 
Cordovan said he would be updating the um, picture that shows when the stream is off. Um, so we'll have better information on that soon. And Minions, of course, um, had Monday off. Damsels, I believe they said they are streaming tonight. So that's 2 a.m. Eastern. Damsels will be on from Argo. And of course, tomorrow, Cordovan, weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream at noon. My understanding is he'll be on Lamania, showing off Temple of Elemental Evil. And then the fling is still going uh, for a couple more weeks. Um, and that's after that at 1 30. And Friday, Thursday, as I said, we have the two new people in the evening, Eastern time. I don't remember the exact times they started. And then Friday at noon is Titan. Sunday at 5 is Titan. And then uh, Menu Monday, 4.30. Dags has been hosting that. And then, again, DDO Poland and then me on Tuesdays. And then, of course, here's more of me. If you're enjoying uh, what I'm doing, want to see more of me, I do archive my streams uh, on YouTube as well as Twitch um, has some of them. I just let them expire, though. I don't really keep many of those around. You can find me on Twitter, at my own website, and on Steam. If you do follow me, my channel, that's twitch.tv slash morgu, then while I'm live here on DDO stream, you should hear Lars Hayden and see an overlay when you do that. Because I'm amused by that still. Don't, it's still, what, a week or two? I fi figured that out, and uh, I'm still amused by it. So feel free to follow me. Uh, anywhere and everywhere, and uh, except in real life, because that's creepy. And, uh, yeah. Get notified when I stream, follow DDO stream, get notified when one of our streamers is on from the community stream team. All good stuff. Let's see what groups are available. Oh, just missed Devil Assault. That would have been fun. Vaughn 5EE. -E. That would practically put me to level. <laughs> All oh, first-time bonuses and everything, that'd be fun. And Titan is AFK. So, that's awesome. I'm gonna die. But the XP, have I done that? Oh, I think I did it, that one. Yeah, although I did, I did vault, but not plane. <laughs> well, I could get first time bonus on plane. I mean, I, I could pike devil assault, but that's not really interesting to watch. Um, all right. Well, I want to pop back over to another character then. Let's see what Shaw's up to. Shaw's 26. Oh, uh, close encounters. So we watched all the alien movies. No? Nothing? Say close encounters. That's it. I said then I said, well, we watched all the alien movies. Huh? That's it? <laughs> You're caught up? You're caught up? Uh, logging in lag. I can see how my bars haven't populated yet. 
There we go. I need to get back to my stream preview. Oh, the stream doesn't look like it's working. There we go. Not sure if everybody saw that hiccup or it was just me. Anyway. See, I watched all the stuff and that was amusing. Now on Shaw, I can do Vaughn, and that'll be a good thing. I'm 26 and I have all my gear on, so I may not survive, but I have a much better shot at it. Um... That's on. Gotta switch my uh, make sure power attacks on. Switch my thought process here now that I'm back on Shaw. Okay. What do I need to make sure is on as my fighter epic stuff? Everything's working, going great. Weapons are gear equipped. All right. I think I'm good. I never know when somebody doesn't respond. It's like, okay, did you not see it? Are you in the middle of a battle? You waiting for somebody else? Because otherwise, I go over to that vault. But I thought, hey, that's just starting. Oh, hey, look, I'm in. Cool. Hey, Ninth Pawn, how you doing? How are we doing them well this evening? Probably a trapper. That's why they're going north first. That's what I was hoping for. There we go. I really hope everybody's doing well this evening. Appreciate those ninth pawn skunk. Those, the rest of you that have been in chat, saying hi and stuff. Appreciate the lurkers too, but it's a lot more fun if you interact. At least for me. No pressure though. I have to say, it was odd doing this quest as a 
Trapper. I was the backup who became primary <laughs> when the primary kept dying. And that was an interesting experience. Because I'd never been the Trapper in this quest. Raid, whatever. And, uh, quite a lot of interesting stuff to keep up with. It's a different timing than everything else. Oh, they need you over here to open that door. Oh, they need you over here to do those traps. So oh, you need to go over here and do this. I was not one of those who went up the fire spout, but I did go first up the ladder to uh, disable the traps up there. Just lots of little differences in my normal timing in this quest. My normal places to be and such. So yeah, I ran my rogue there for the first part of the stream, and now Titan wanted to run some stuff, so I was switched to Epic and uh, Titan went AFK. So not sure what we're gonna do there. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. I'm not on my rogue anymore. Fighter doesn't have search map to six. He has haste. Boost. She has haste boost map to six. There's the D door. Then the caster. I'm always thinking, okay, now it's time for a D door. Now I need to do this utility thing. Good coordination first time through. Got to like that. Such a simple thing becomes a big sticking point in some groups. <laughs> People aren't in sync or something. Nobody wants to make the call. Not sure everybody's ready on time. Several things can happen there. Somebody got one in. It was definitely not me. Yeah. 
Yeah, stick around after... I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming, but when I'm done, we'll do a raid again this week, because last week was fun. We raided over to Gemini 166, and uh, that was fun. He was kind of shocked, and it was a good time. I actually have too many people here. Um, nobody's. What? <laughs> That's funny. I can go help kill the puzzle, that's fine. I cannot open lock. Or knock. Haywire Hayward seems nervous outside. Clanking and ratcheting noises echo along this long corridor. The machinery below must still be active. So we have no one able to do the puzzle at the moment. As I understand it, which is not good coordination. Everybody's focusing on other stuff and not the puzzle. If I have to, I'll look it up my tablet and do it that way. It's odd how party can be good at one piece of it, not me paying enough attention to the other. Let's see. I'll just go to Wiki for it, I think. Got nothing but time, but I was would you know rather be doing something more interesting uh, streaming. Usually this quest is con or this raid is constant, where everybody's going on go 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 all the time, and it's not a big deal to stream it because it's pretty active. But this particular time. Uh, yeah, I think I have yet to do that on my mobile devices as well, Titan. Got the laptop set up, but haven't done the mobile devices yet. So since no one's paying attention yet, oh, maybe somebody finally, looks like somebody might be actually doing it. We got Camelot. They show as monks, so we'll see. 
If they can open it, that's all we care about. Yay, they knocked it open. Where did I mess up? That one up here goes that way. Ah, oh, that's what I wanted to do. I want to go that way. Go up left side, cross over the right side. Back to the left side. Up and back across. Kind of stair step our way up from there. We come up here and then go around this way. That's good there. It says come down here, and then do that one. Whichever. Go this way. Come up and around. Do, do, do. Up here. There. That's the one that goes both. Okay. Ah. Lag. And then we come across to the middle and straight up. Here a low rumbling of power as the distribution grid returns to the surface. Yeah, after this Titan we can do something. I actually landed. Wow. I am impressed. It has not been landing for me. I think those two have it handled. Where are we at? Kells. Fourteen. The East Portal Conduit blazes with channeled energy.
This corridor descends into the lowest reaches of the vault, where its most basic functions are maintained. Over to This movie's pretty dated just because of the uh, vehicles alone. There's nothing else. Switch back to that. I don't really have much. I really should have a better weapon for beating on frost monsters and such. Somebody didn't have their fire resist on? fun yet. So I can't tell if anybody actually went up or not. No one's calling for levers again.
sometimes old effects are amusing. Like in Aliens, I think it was. You could really tell when they were using matte paintings as backgrounds. Letters down so we can continue. Sometimes locations in movies take on a different feel when you actually are sitting in or have been to or near that location. It's funny. Wow, those cars. And the clothes, and the hair. Did this movie came out in the seventies or eighties? I remember seeing it, but I don't remember when. Yeah, I was playing around there for a bit. I was playing around with a few things, just seeing what the money is on the box. I've never actually been on there doing stuff. So. I had meant to get over and figure out if I want my sorcerer to be too paladin or not, but I didn't get around to doing that. I went back and concentrated on getting, taking advantage of the XP bonus on Heroic, so... Yep. I might spend a little more time on there. Well, it, it's, it just takes too long to go through the entire leveling process again. I'm not sure I'm going to do all of that like I planned, but... I'm going to work on some other stuff here at home, so I don't know, we'll see. It does take a bit more damage to kill, definitely, that's for sure. <laughs> scrolling, 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 still scrolling. There it goes. And there's level 27. Oh, I might as well complete plane as well. I've got another other characters at this point that I don't mind the timer on this one. I got other stuff to do. I've been reading and and some stuff around the house. Oh yeah.
Well, I'm going to switch back to my bard, who's level 20, before we group up Titan. I hope you have a plan on what to do, because I have no idea. I definitely want to switch back. Go where you want to go. There weren't any groups up when I checked back, checked in earlier. That I felt like doing with my bard, so well, I guess we could do slayers. It's not really my first choice, but. I don't want to do Slayers for a long time. <laughs> you realize in Thunderhome that my level 20 bard is going to die. Or Pike. It's not going to be very useful for my bard. If that's what you want to do, I, won't, I have no problem doing it. I'm just saying it's not really a good choice for a squishy bard. I might survive this. Wow, I might not. I actually didn't survive it. That's uh, pretty crappy. King's Forest would be good. little less immediately deadly. my bard. Yes, I think I went into Evening Star at one point, so I think I can get there. Actually, I can use the Hall of Heroes. That's right. I can do that now. Am I going to have to hide? Come on, I'm going to have to hide, I'm going to have to hide. I can't do it. I want to help. It's just not enough healing coming in. Yeah, see? I was well out of range of that. I'm gonna stay back here. Yeah, it's easy. Taking a fight with you. Yeah. If I had actually had level 27 had my other gear on, it wouldn't have been a big deal, but kind of don't. Have enough everything until I get to 27 to survive e head on, which is why I was trying to be cautious, but not cautious enough, evidently. Piece of the Sword of Shadow. 
No, but a greater token. I'll take a greater token. That's fine. Shard of Stone Mill. Something Iron Weave. Nope. None of the really good stuff. Do -do. And we'll get out of this party, switch characters. Party of the Titan, go to King's Forest, do some of that stuff. Uh, I believe so, Titan, that there's the Polish one before me and then two on Thursday that I know of. If there's anything more than that, I don't know about them. I'm head back to the ship real quick and then we'll log on to, as my bard. Do some stuff over there. Now I borrowed a plan to keep it cap or in epics. That was the original plan for it. Um, I still think I might respec into County Monte Cristo, but we'll see. Levels are always good because it gives options. So I'm logging out there. Maybe. So yeah, add in to this, um, the Polish group on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock Eastern, and the other two people, Thursday afternoons, evenings, I don't know the times off the top of my head. They did show last week, so um, if you subscribe to DDO stream, hit a follow on Twitch, you'll be notified when they go. And damsels are on this week, I believe. Pretty sure they were. And again, here's more of me. And if you follow me the next half hour, you can you too can hear Lars Hayden live as you subscribe and the notification pops. Anyway. But wait, there's more. No, not really. That's pretty much all you got. Hey, wise man, how's it going? So, yeah, this is my bard, made it to 20, somehow, survived somehow. Not quite sure how that happened, but did. And, uh, yeah. I don't know if I can go into Monte Cristo with my stats, but... Yes, I know. I always say that, but... I have never gotten back to, uh, hey, Lando, how's it going? I have not gotten back to editing that. Um, once Cordovan updates his, I'll update mine, so I can put all at once. But yeah, Dags is hosting uh, Mon Minion Mondays, not Queen. Uh, let's see what we're we doing. We were going to E-Star. Did I have it? I don't have a key, do I? That's unfortunate. I would really like to have a key. Oh well, I can walk. It's not that far. Especially if you go the right way. Ah. Uh, Glad to hear it. Hope everybody's doing well this evening. Waiting for Titan's invite for the group. We're going to do some King's Forest for a bit. Let's see what groups are up to. Two groups doing power play. That's not one I usually see anybody doing, let alone two groups at the same time. It's interesting. I just was in Evening Star. Why did it? Uh, one of them's 
might be a dead group. Ghost group, shadow group, whatever you call it. I'm going over this way, aren't I? Pirates there. This force is there. All right, Titan, where are you? Titan's in a party heart. Can we do an evening star? Did I grab all the quests and sagas? Looks like I did not. So let's do that. Well, I don't really know much at the moment, Lionel. Um, it's up on Lamania. Is Lamania still up? I think it might be, but anyway, um, it's on Lamania. You can go check it out. It's one huge quest split into two, as I understand it. Seems to be interesting area um, if you ever play the classic module, supposedly you'll be pretty happy with the translation. Um, so there's that. New loot, as far as I'm aware, hasn't fully been previewed yet. There's some stuff. Um, and uh, the Rogue Enhancement Pass is with it which you can also check out on. The best thing, I don't know if everybody's seen it, but they enhanced the UI for spell power. It's awesome. Has everybody seen that? Let me, oops, wrong browser. Let me go find that. Uh, where was that? There it is. That's what I called it. So if you look at what it is now, and then take a look at that, you'll see the big difference. Because right now it's just spell power, and then with U25 it has the uh, what, critical chance and critical multiplier as well for all your different spell power types. It's awesome. I love UI improvements like that. So that's the big thing. Oh, I'm a freaking bard. I need to remember what I'm doing here. Let's see. We need to do some good hope. I need hasting displays. GH. Blur. I need that. Alright. There we go. Now I'm ready. Yep. You want to see my weapon? I'll show you my weapon. There you go. And there you go. So I am still wearing. No, it's not gonna. There's. I'm still wearing the Turbine Lape, which is level 14. And my swashbuckler isn't working. So let's see if I can do it over here. A level 4 swashbuckler from the Cove. <laughs> so yeah, that that's the big thing for me is the UI enhancement. Um, I'm more excited about that really than anything else, which is, I know, kind of sad, considering it probably took a lot less work than the other stuff, but I'm happy with the amount of content. I hardly see, I don't think there's, I think there's still several quests I still haven't played at all yet, plus the uh, fact that I don't regularly run a lot of it, so I'm happy with the amount of content. Not that new content's not a good thing, I'm, I'm not saying that, but to me, I've 
I think there's plenty of content in the game. So, um, you know, there's that. And um, the Rogue Pass is somewhat exciting. We'll see how that actually turns out. Um, so considering I've just started messing with my Rogue in more detail, kind of annoying to me that it, on the timing, but, you know, it's kind of my fault for putting it off so long. So I'm okay with that. Um, I'll probably have to respec after the pass happens. But that's not a bad thing. Yeah, Titan's talking in party chat about the endless slayers you can get here, which is amusing if you can get it going. Makes the slayers here really easy to get. And then uh, Temple of Ultimate Evil, I, the good thing is I'll be able to play it. Um, I still haven't played the new Delirium stuff, so I'm a bit behind in things. But I look forward to playing it, checking it out. I, I haven't really been watching people play it because I want to sort of experience myself. That'll be a good thing for me, the guild, to go into together and spend just an evening doing that, seeing what it's all about. I want to avoid the spoilers and all that. I may poke around in there just to see the entrance and see what it's like, but I don't think I'll go through it. What else can I say about it? Uh, I'm looking forward to the, the nearly final loot list to be shown. I know there was some info about it that there's a bunch of like stuff that's the same, just different. Uh, what should we call it? The drow are linked to the darkening. Oh, just how remains clouded even to me. Same, Still, same slot, different notice. flavors. Go in the forest. I think is what we're saying. I don't know. I, I looked at the preview for the loot and then so probably forgot it. So. I wouldn't mind seeing the final loot list and seeing what it's all about. Some options there. But we'll see. Oh yeah, that's good. Thanks for reminding me of that. So epic elemental bursts is part of it. So the you know flaming burst stuff finally gets into epic levels and hopefully is decent enough to be useful. Um, yeah, there's some good stuff. And the game's always changing and evolving, and people are always trying new builds and stuff, so it's nice to have variety and basically the same game, but slightly different flavors of it. Every couple of months there's some decent changes, new content and such. Makes it fun. That's what part of an MMO is, really, is that constant evolution, change, it's not just the multiplayer aspect, it's that, that it doesn't remain static. By necessity, it has to keep evolving. Makes it a lot of fun to play.
Move just in time. Elemental. Oh, then he leashes. That's awesome. Why did I get stunned? Why, why did I get stunned? Another thing. I am pleased, Lord. Yeah, Chikaya Pop, not bad. Created the bridge between our worlds. For that brought ye here in our time of need. I shall not beg thee for assistance. Let me merely mention that Eberron will surely disappear into the demon web. This is a good instance of where the area is really unchecked. Really well done as far as being an area to explore and being huge and having these different places and different things happening but I do not like having to run to the adventures in here I don't run the quest in here a lot because it's just a pain to get there did I save an epic epi somewhere no it doesn't look like I did I was going to, and I don't think I did. Oh well. I'm sure I'll be getting fun epic here, here shortly anyway. As I ramp up my questing and get to cap. The broadcasting when we're not on the channel picture, I believe it is from... I don't know if it's started from Lania, but from a uh, thing. Some artwork from Temple of Elemental Evil. I'm not sure if it's the actual in-game or not. They're being awfully cagey about that, aren't they? and the other devs who've been on the past couple weeks have kind of been saying, yeah, we're not going to tell you. This must be someone interesting. I hope it turns out to have a good interview like the Ed Greenwood one as well. That, that was fun to listen to. I'd actually like to go to the far corner and get that uh, transporter guy at some point while we're down in the drow area. Rule. The darkening creeps across Faerun, borne by the drow from the underdark. <laughs> David Hasselhoff. Uh, so I think it only right that visitors such as these stand the vanguard in this fight. So you're saying quests don't show favor, do they? Oh, I know what you're talking about now. It's uh, log out and log back in. It should refresh. 
there's a delay on uh, favor showing in the total favor sometimes. The darkening creeps across Faerun, borne by the drive. So all you need to do is log out, log back in, it should refresh. It threatens both our worlds, so I think it only right that visitors such as these stand the vanguard in this fight. Yeah, that's gotten me a couple times. I was like, what the heck? I just completed that quest, but I don't have the favor. Sometimes it's, if you can switch to the work, sometimes it won't. Um, but usually logging out, logging back in does reliably fix it. Don't we need to go south east to get to that uh, outpost to get the transport guy? Titan? Somewhere to the southeast, there's a guy that will transport you back to that place, so you can bypass walking the whole way down if you want to walk into like where the Underdark area is. It's over here somewhere. Aren't all the uh, encounters and stuff here uh, random? That wasn't the guy I needed to talk to. Was it? Oh, yeah, it was. Good. That did it. Now I can get right back to here instead of having to walk all the way back here if I want to get back here. It's handy because the King's Forest is a pretty big area. I'm on Thalanus at the moment. It should be the top right of your screen. It should be showing up there. Well, you want to reset and try again if you think he's going to show up here? Because I thought they were all random, so he could be anywhere. I know it, several times I've been in here, he's been in different areas. He hasn't always been in the same place. Was oh, there a thing back there somewhere? All the way down here. I feel much power inside these strange fragments ye call dragon shards. No wonder Loth seeks them for her. All right, plans. let me get back up to that transport guy and I'll only found head out and reset. Emperor, I wonder. Oh, but that is a sage's question for another time. Right now, we must make sure. So if y'all didn't know, cannot use them. There's a guy in here. You can. If he spawns, he's a rare, and if he spawns, then he can, uh, he can get into a state where he spawns infinite minions. So the slayers go real quick then, because you're just killing wave after wave of his minions. Alright, tighten him out. Where are you? And, uh... It can be handy if you want to 
rack up your Slayer account real quick for some quick XP. So we have a group that can handle it. Um, I've been in a group that almost can handle it. weren't quite there, and I've been in groups that just... There were too many people doing it that I didn't really make... You really had... It was piking, because... Yep. It's easy to do. Definitely easy to do. Because he's been... I don't remember exactly where around here, but he's been almost to the Underdark entrance. He's been... Hmm, I want to say over on the other side of the map here, and I don't remember where was the other time I found him, but I've been in like three groups that have done that, and it's good for quickly racking up some kills. Of course, as the kills get perfect, progressively better, the more you go. Oh, I need to buff. I forgot about. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? I really don't like that one. It seems like every time, by the time everybody, the whole party is there, you failed. So they start killing them when you're anywhere near them. When one party member is anywhere near them. So you don't really get a chance to... Uh, do anything else if there's only one person. There. There's enough mobs that it's not particularly easy to do. Hello, Drow. Maybe I could do Shade Arc High on this and get back up to 15. I don't know. I kind of wanted this one just to remain at cap, but I want to respec my stat points. So, kind of a conundrum there. Or I'll make sure I get the 5k favor and get a plus 5 contome. And then figure out what to do after that. Get all my destinies unlocked. Get at least one past life. Maybe I'll do it that way. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Something keeps healing me, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what I got. I know I've got various healing things on, but I don't know what would be healing you. Oh, there's a thing. Many things I can see. Message from Elminster, 34. Protecting the thread of the weave is a task for right by the waterfall. I cannot do it. The risk Must is too It's something from a uh, epic destiny then. 
Did you get the healing past life, maybe? No, I only have the, uh, one of the colors of the queen one. Hmm. Well, it's not that, then. I don't know. Turn this place on if I'm going to be doing. More one-on-one combat. As I said, I really like the area. It's really it has the feeling of a huge forest. It's a neat area, neatly well-designed area for that regard, but. Finding all the explorers and getting the quests is a bit problematic. Whosoever finds the thread of the weave might determine the future of thy world. It must not be Loth or her drow who rule the day. We must do the fighting first. Wow, that counts as a slayer. <laughs> well, yeah, he killed the tree. I'm going totally the wrong way for where it popped up. A thing in here? It's, it seems odd. Oh, wisps, I hate wisps. Ah. 
How dare you slow me? Servers Delanus level I am currently twenty. And he is what is it, twenty three? Yeah, twenty three. And hello, Mathinson. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well this evening. Sort of running through King's Forest and seeing if we can get the infinite uh, slayers going. But if not, yeah. Run through here a bit more and then I think I want to switch to questing because uh, we've shown off the area enough and I want to do something with more purpose. Searching my map for it. Good, Matt Hansen. Glad to hear it. Doing pretty good in the third hour of the stream, so kind of settling in. Maybe going to other hours tonight. Don't think it's going to be too late tonight. Trees have changed too. Hmm. I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, you killed the deer. That's so messed up that we can kill him. Hunting like a swashbuckler. Count for Slayer, though, which is kind of amusing. It's more of a Slayer doing that than it is killing the mobs. I give I want to get some questing in enough of slayers you want to go do some uh, questing yeah um, 
I'm tempted by that abbot, but I'm not flagged here, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, no, I'm not flagged here. I think my character I'm flagged on the Shaw. Tracker's trap, eh. Power play ghosts. I don't know. I'm not flagged for that abbot either. <laughs> it's a pain to flag. It really is. What else can we do? Twenty three. I have no idea what to do. Um, how about this. the war hospital? Yeah, we can do those. Outbreak or the other one? Overgrowth. Yeah, let's start in the war hospital, that's good. Ugh, I'm on murder by night. Am I not? No. I'm not on that quest. Can you share, please? Yeah, it'd really be nice. Agreed, Ace. Nelson, I agree. And hello, welcome. I can't share it. Oh, here it is. Did you get that? Yep, there we go. That's better. Outbreak. Overgrowth? Um, I already have overgrowth. I guess I just did outbreak. So yeah, this should be good. Um, I don't have any sort of... I do have a streak going. Can you handle hard? Hard or elite? I'm a first life... Bar. Uh, hard will be fine. <laughs> so if you want to solo it on Elite, that's I fine. Can, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, Ace. Um, it would be nice to have all those LFMs up that used like they used to be and all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, there's still those of us that are still playing, and there's. Not insignificant number of them. Oh, let's get this started. And I have UMD, so we can do the UMD thing too. I forget which way it opens, I'm afraid. There's another one around here somewhere, I'm sure it will turn up. Yeah, there's lots of things that contributed. Some people think that the advertising wasn't what it needed to be. The marketing plans and such weren't up to par. Some people think it's the UI or the bugs or the graphics or gameplay, not just those exploits or anything. What server do you play on? Oh, I'm not buffed. I need to remember to buff. I really do. Yeah, I need to be displaced. There we go. Yeah, I wasn't... Oh, Kyber? There's people playing on Kyber. I know there's some streamers playing on Kyber, and I, some other people, I believe. I've seen playing. So there are some, but you know, I remember logging on and there'd be so many instances everywhere and you uh, 
had options and anymore at any particular level, unless you're epic, where it's a lot easier to find groups. It can be tough to find a group among Thelanus and, you know, it's got its ups and downs. Usually, you know, U25 is coming out here shortly, so usually around the times of the new releases you'll find a lot of people on. Yeah. The heroics especially. I agree. Unless you're in a guild that, you know, plays all the time, and if you're in a guild that plays all the time, you're probably in a, you know, power leveling, TRing, Zerging kind of guild. Uh, although I st still do see some roleplay LFMs up now and then. You know, coming from my experience on Thelanus, you know, that's kind of why I was saying earlier on stream that I was stuck with uh, my characters around the 12 to 16 range. It seems to be harder to find groups there, and my rogue in particular needed to have a group. This bard needed to have a group. Just not really soloing characters. Oh, healing you buff. He looks a little rough. Let's see, what do I have against him? Yeah, I was stuck for a long time in the heroics. Um, that's one reason I'm staying in epics, because I was stuck so long in heroics that I just don't enjoy being stuck there. Um, I would rather be up at epics where you can find groups and it's a lot more fun to play because of that. Or now that at least one of my characters is power enough to solo, you know, you can solo stuff. But first life or at 12, yeah, it's going to be tough to solo stuff. I failed. I rolled a one. Oh my gosh. I rolled a one. I can't believe that. You failed. What is my UMD? Why did I fail? My UMD is 47 and I failed. I would have thought that would have been plenty. Yay, cured one. So if I roll not a one, I can do it. You failed again. That one's locked. Yeah, and, you know, people have been requesting server consolidations and stuff, but then there's the lag, and it may or may not be caused by Pete, the number of people on a server, and there's lots of disagreement on how things might be handled. So. I would... Oh, this place just ran out. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I'd keep plugging away. I'd definitely try to find a guild through some other means. Um, look for a streamer who's streaming from Kyber. Um, Get on DDO stream when people are streaming, particularly Cordovan on Wednesdays, and say, hey, anybody here play on Kyber? I'm looking for a guild. I'm kind of stuck at level 12. Anybody help me out? Kind of stuff. Because I know there are guilds, but and see what your, if you don't know what your user channel information is for your server, you know, ask somebody and see if you can find the user channel information for that server. Um, people group that way. There's a whole bunch of options that will make it more enjoyable for you. Unfortunately, they aren't necessarily well-documented um, ways to go. But yeah, there's a couple ways to get... I have strongly considered switching guilds a couple times. Um, I've been in several, and I've settled in this one, and I really like my guild, but it's really small and most people are in the UK so 
finding people in the evening U.S. time to play is not easy. But kind of a hard time sometimes with that. Um, but when I do get to play with them, which we have a Thursday static group, and that's the main way I play with them. It's awesome. I, I love interacting with the people in the guild. That they're all friendly and fun to play with. It's just that only happens once a week, pretty much. Occasionally, there'll be somebody else on during the week. And we can get a run or something in. But all too often, it's you know still early for me. It's late for them, and they gotta go kind of stuff. So did not get him trapped. Can I kite him? Come on, come in here. Come in here, dude. Yeah, watch those wisps tighten. Cause they will knock you down quickly if you don't pay attention to them. Fortunately, I don't know much damage to them. Oh. Good news is he's off of you. The bad news is he's on me. Hey, QB, how's it going? Concentrate on him, not me. Arrgh. Just when we got all. Oh, that's a champion wisp. That's gonna be. Yeah, I'm an IRC, so I see all the joins and parts. So I can tell people join and leave. It's handy. Freak some people out. Hey, how did you know? Uh, that's not good. Oh, that's nice. So if you feel like you're going to go die, then... Maybe get away from this area, I don't know. I don't really know where to go. I am 20 at the moment. Titan is 23. And we're doing... this on epic hard and for some reason I'm not getting the bonus. Why am I not getting the bonus? Shouldn't I be? Maybe because I'm too low level? That doesn't make any sense. Come on, almost got him, almost got him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. But don't die doing it. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Run. Don't worry about them, just run, dude. Jaskier opens a door to the quarantine area. You go through and deal with Uth, he says. Safer that way. Now, go on. Do what's got to be done. There's no way I'm surviving that. Oh, so yeah, here's my... Oops. Here's my character at the moment. I just made 20 the other day with the XP bonuses to heroics that were happening. And, uh... No, I didn't want that, I want that. Did you get them all? Okay. We're good then. And I switched to my rogue. and My rogue is now 18, actually 19, banking, but there. Ouch. And, uh, yeah. We'll see what next I want to do heroic wise. As I said, I play more mostly naps because I have a lot more fun. It's easier to find groups and a lot more going on there. But uh, I've got a bunch of heroic characters that really need some love. 
Let's see, I can that, I can that, 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 and then we can do this. Get myself buffed up. And then we should be ready to go. Go ahead and go first and tank him. is far more advanced with him and as a result he is far stronger. see that last line would be useful catches anybody I don't think it'll catch anybody but you never know try to keep the trash clear I don't really do good against wisps though. Yeah, that's doing nothing. I thought it might end up that way, but I thought I'd try anyway. I could try fascinate. The problem I find with Fascinating is I don't have enough time to actually cast it with a bunch of trash around. It's not behaving and focusing on him kind of stuff, especially solo. I don't have time. Oh, they're over there for the moment, so I can probably unload on him. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, did I not just hit heal on myself? Because I'm pretty sure I did. Now would be a good time to try it. Nope. Did not do it. Really? Nothing? Woot. Wow, those look nice. Hmm. All right. Get the heck out of here. Might as well do the other one. Overgrowth. This way, I believe. Um, hmm. Thought it said I had. Oh, you know what? I may not have turned it in. Maybe that's why. Where is that yellow? I can't tell. That sucks. Yeah. Are you on Talanus? I can't remember. Yeah, so I got my Bard up to 20, and then I got my Rogue from 12 to 18, banking 19 over the weekend. So I was pretty happy with that. That was, uh, yeah. Oh, you are? That's cool. Uh, let me run at least this one next quest with Titan, and then if you want, we can switch to uh, something around that range and see what we can scare up. 
I don't know how much longer I'm going to be playing, though, so I don't want to lead you astray here, but if you'd like to, I can hop in for a little bit, run a quest or two, maybe. Because of that uh, XP, there were so many people running heroics at the levels I was running at that it was really nice to be able to just pop in and get some stuff. Really nice. I enjoyed All right, that's cool. Not a problem, I understand that. I'm kind of slowing down myself, which is why I was hesitating there. But, yeah. I will be trying to get my rogue to 20 over the next week or so, and all that. And, uh... Yeah, we should probably break this streak and go normal. I'm eligible for a bravery bonus, but I don't know. If you're whatever you're comfortable with, Titan, because you're the one who's going to be doing most of the tanking and stuff. So you did okay in the other one. The other one I think is harder than this one. Just that we won't get the wood woods, but I don't really care about that. Welcome back, Lionel. Let's let's go ahead and try hard. We'll see what happens. I think you're you've been carving through things pretty well. I can't do much more than support you at this point, but I can hopefully keep some of the trash off. We're gonna have a hard time doing the wood woods though. That's the only thing to keep in mind. Definitely want to buff first, though. Did I have freedom yet? I don't think I did. It's hard to say. Yeah. Yep, it's only 8.30 here, too. Um, I've been keeping weird hours being out of work. I dislike changing shifts immensely so even just the daylight saving change throws me off for a week or two oh yeah that knockdown thing I have is good yeah I'm hoping I I like working slight off hours like you know, five to three kind of thing, rather than eight to five. But second and third shift, not so much. But the SO works weird hours. Sometimes going in at two or three a.m., and other times going in at six or even nine or ten, depending on the shift day. So, yeah, I didn't think we'd get the wood load. I've got some aggro, which is good. Keep some off of you. Let you do your thing. Gotta get some upgraded gear. Oh yeah, slides through here. Hey Margu, um, my mom let me uh, sit in the driver's seat of the Camaro and told me how to to uh, drive a stick. That's cool. A door slams shut ahead. Like last weekend. Uh, I had a friend who had a Camaro growing up. And then he had a vet in college. That was amusing to drive around in. He also had a mini monster truck. One of those, not a real monster truck, but the pickups with the lift kits and such, the big tires. And, uh, that was interesting. Wow. This is rough. I'm having a rough time, I must say. Uh, let's go eight for a minute. This 
this part of the way. Wisps are frustrating. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Traps. Yeah, I really need to get. I really think I need to get evasion on here. That would help. Uh, all yours. I'll be back here. Need to get a better weapon and buckler. And also get some, uh, stuff unlocked that all that will help quite a bit this is another wood woad one Jared, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I'm out of here. Yes, yes, I understand you have acid burst. That's cool. No, use something else besides that. Firmly die. There we go. Time for the it's treasure. The gray again. Always one step ahead. Wow, I can't see it. Can you see it? Let's see, I've got that on. Got that on. Got that on. I can't see it. <laughs> can't see it at all. All right. Well, never mind. I'm invisible. Why are you chasing me? It would seem was I'll let you take this. I see a champion in there. Uh, let's go ahead and try it. Yep, DC is not nearly enough. All right, well, now I know. Oh, look. I did fascinate some wolves. Yay. I thought I had fascinate undead unlocked. Maybe I don't. Maybe that's why the undead guys didn't. Those are undead, aren't they? Are they... Forest... Hello, lightning bolt. How are you? This is the problem when you first get to Epics, is that you have you've got nothing, especially as a first lifer. Um, you've got nothing when you first get to Epics. You may have, if you're lucky, you've got some gear from another character that'll fill in for you, which I have not switched to. I haven't really looked at my gear, so that's one reason. But then, you know, all the Epidisney stuff, you have nothing, none of it. That's a big deal. Uh, that's what it's called for here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He does not like me at all, does he? Oh, 
fast ain't worked a little bit. Oh, I forgot to use my thing. See, I'm not, not really used to this character. I've been playing it a little bit, but I feel like I spend a lot more time on my rogue, and my sorcerer, and my fighter than this. So it's a little iffy playing it. And it plays really weird compared to the others. So, there's that to deal with as well. I don't usually shrine, but I'm definitely going to shrine here on this one. Oh my god, yes. I want the mysterious room. There's no chest because we didn't get the things. I'm going to shrine. Hello to everybody. I see some more people joining lurking. Glad to have you here. Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. Let's do this, 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 that, that, switch over to me. Let's see, I want the rogue stuff on here. Now that I've gotten used to having it on my rogue, since I've been playing my rogue a bunch, I really miss it, not having it. I understand what the skunk was saying about missing trapping skills and such. All of a sudden, when you don't have them. I came in search of a missing nobleman. Tis a long tale, but I believe the druid Holson might help me find him. And I thought the master of war might just lead me to Holson. Or Yawar, however you say that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let you do this once you're ready. I get all tensored up and wait in there. As much by smell as by sight, it is clear that the dryad and her tree. Hey, Bonnie, how's it going? Nice to see you. Essa told me something interesting earlier. They were on from uh, work, and I saw them join, and I said hi. But they were watching like 30 seconds of ads and didn't hear me say hi, and they left. So, hi Bonnie. How's it going? We didn't get the tree in time? Oh, wow. All right, fine. Be that way. How you doing tonight, Bonnie? <laughs> Decorating with owlbear corpses, 101. 
Titan, kill the tree. Titan, kill the tree. Titan, please kill the tree. Titan, please kill the tree before she comes back out and does that again. Alright. Back to killing her again. Druids and their ice storm stuff. Come on. Come on. Down, 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 down. Get to where we can kill your tree now. Kill the tree, kill the tree, kill the tree. That should be it. Yes, there it is. So what did I get on that? Alright. Yeah, I got some bonus XP for that. That was good. Need to take that out, so... There we go. Perky's Twitter, Bonnie's Twitter, I don't remember where that conversation took place, but it's pretty funny. Well, have fun with Dota 2, QB. That seems like something I might want to keep around for uh, when I hit 25. Charisma plus 8. I have Charisma on right now. I thought I had a Charisma 7 something. Oh my god, the gear I have on is all level 11. So, yeah, I made it to 20 on level 9 to 11 gear. Actually, some is lower. I'm going to keep that, I think. For the first life, when you get up here and start getting your loot, you actually got to pay attention sometimes. That's nothing. And there's another one that would be handy at uh, 25, 23, 23 with Vitality. I think that's going to be the winner. Give me level 23. Right now. You want to continue with Thorn and Paw? <laughs> yeah, that's. I understand it's probably an accident, but that's not cool. I would. I would be a little upset at that. I must say, if that happened. Um, what do I need to? No, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. But, you know, stuff happens. I have to make sure I triple check when I go stream on 
off days and stuff, make sure that where I am, make sure I'm hitting my profile, not the DDO stream profile, my stream key, not DDO stream stream key. And then I need to make sure I also, like on Thursday night when I'm doing guild night, make sure I also hit record and not stream because my, some of my guildies don't care for streaming. They don't mind the video since they're not listed, but the streaming, yeah, no. So, yeah. Fun stuff. So, are we going to uh, do with Horn and Paw? Continue this, just finish it out the chain at least tonight. Give me some XPs. XPs, XPs, XPs. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the stream because I thought that first. Now see that is excellent in this chain. Natural bane plus solar. Unless you have, I mean you already have something better, but it can be tempting. The base damage isn't anything compared to the Thunder Forge, I don't think. Thought I remember. But yeah, I was playing with stuff like that for a while. Oh, on Shaw, and then I decided it wasn't worth it. Once I got the Thunderforge stuff, it's just once you hit 22 and get Thunderforge, you really don't need the other stuff. I really don't. Alright, let's do some buffing. Why can I not click on Titan? That's annoying. And then mine. All right, there we go. You have reached Thorn Hollow, the Druid Hall. That's what I'm saying. It's not worth it. It really isn't. When you're talking about what was 18 base damage versus 48. There's just no comparison. True, one might be equipped and one not, which changes it slightly, but. We're going right first. I prefer you lead so you can take aggro. If you want to clear the room, you can. I usually go right. Just hit the two to the right to open that way. Not worry about the rest. Or three, because it's on hard. I forgot it was on hard. I had a freaking dire bears on me now. No, really. No, really. Let's see. Oh, leashed. Good. That solves that problem. Now we got the druid over here.
It's up to you if you want to continue clearing. There's a guy over here to the left. There's the dire bear there. Dire bear it is. Dire bear got cursed. Nice. Ooh, 40, oh, 150, 161. Look, I'm doing damage. Finally. Alright. Get up there. I really don't know the ranges for these skills. I hardly ever use them. Is there like an up-tempo up enhancement or something where you can use your songs faster? Because that would be fun. Go, uh, get dinner after this quest. Okay. That's cool. Might switch back to Shaw then for a minute. I don't know. We'll I will see what's uh, up. bring you up on my uh, phone. So. That's cool. I may not be streaming too much longer after this anyway. I'm not sure yet. Oh my gosh, don't die. Don't die, don't die. There we go. Thank you for that. I've got raised dead scrolls, but my UMD wasn't sufficient last time I checked to get anything else. Sounds like my UMD might be high enough now to think about something else. Displacement wore off. Definitely need to have that back on. I have res spells if you need. Yeah, but if you're down and I'm not, then I need something to bring you back up. So I've got raised dead for that, at least. In the unlikely event that should happen, we can salvage it. Oh my gosh. Stop getting hit, Bard. What are you doing? I really think that two thief, or sorry, rogue, would be a good idea on this Bard. Really think it would be a good idea. Why are you always all on me? He's the one hitting you for a lot more damage. And there it is. The corruption node. Oh, I have move curse. I forgot I had that. Oh, I'm out. Duh. Um, let's see, do I have... I always forget my songs. There we go. At the center of this cavern is a focal point of the Druidic. Lack of Brains 500. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for watching. What did you play? Well, it's still here if you want to come back to it. Don't know when or what server, depending on when, you know, there could be a lot of changes, a lot of new stuff and different stuff to play with. There's, mo there's the monster trunks on the ground here. Yeah, I think I got them already.
Well, it is still here and being played. Depending on when you were playing, maybe not quite as many players, but it's still definitely being played. As evidenced by a uh, uh, streaming it. You can really just run past these bears. You don't gotta fight them all. Just eats up time, really, for no purpose. I guess Slayer, but these quests are so short without that, I think it's better time it's spent just running through the quest than it is worrying about it. A uh, year ago? Yeah. Up and down. Well, you know, the next update's coming out shortly, and then you'll see a, a bunch of people. Um, it's always more populated during events and uh, new releases of updates. So, update 25 is coming out very soon. Temple of Elemental Evil, uh, Rogue Enhancement Pass, next update will be, uh, some Temple UI Elemental improvements. Elemental Evil. And, uh, yeah, it's some good stuff. should be fun. A year ago is when I came back to the game after a two-year break. So, yeah, there's been a bunch of stuff that has happened since then. Bards, Paladins have gotten passes, um, some new quests. Fun stuff. And of course, it depends on server and time of day as to how exactly populated it gets. Oh, barbarians! Yeah, you're right, Titan. I forgot about the barbarians. So yeah, there's uh, several things that have changed. The airship change was what about a year ago? Um, can't think of anything else. And then coming supposedly by the end of the year, we're going to have Epic Green Steel, Epic Shavrath, Epic Veil, and uh, possibly sentient weapons, Warlock class. Maybe some a ranger pass and range power improvements that I have to call power rangers. Um, some various things. Warlock. Yep. The game is constantly improving. You're going the wrong way, you're going back to the entrance. So yeah, it's an exciting time to be playing. And of course they're working on lag. It's another thing they've been devoting resources to, so it's nice to know. People have been seeing some improvements, although there was some really crushing lag in uh, Wayland earlier for me and the group I was in at the time. makes a point about it being pure. So it seems like you should be able to interact with it somehow and do something to help the purification process or something. I, I don't know, but I've never been able to do anything with it. It's kind of frustrating. be interesting to ask whoever designed this level to tell us why that is.
So yeah, welcome everybody who's watching. I see some more lurkers have joined here and there, hanging out. Appreciate that. Supporting the channel. This is not my personal channel. This is the official DDO channel. Um, I am Simorgu. This is Twitchy Tuesday, which is my normal show here on this channel. Tuesdays, 5 p.m. Eastern, until whenever I get tired and quit which is going to probably be after this quest at the rate we're going. I'm slowing down. And, uh... Wow, even a bard running full speed expeditious and those bears can still catch you. Man. Uh, anyway, I was saying... See, so yeah, I'm part of the community stream team. It streams on this channel. This is actually my information here. Uh, my own Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, site, and Steam. Simorgu is the constant there. C-M-O-R-R-I-G-U. And then the schedule for DDO stream. This is um, out of date, but gives you an idea of some of the shows coming. There is a new show before my show on Tuesdays, and there are two shows on Thursdays that I don't have the exact times for that will be added sometime shortly to the schedule. Um, this channel does have a placeholder graphic when nobody is streaming that should show you that. And, oh, did Dragon Cam go off again? Is it that time of day? Yeah, it is. His light went off for the night. And, uh, yeah, so appreciate you checking us out. Feel free to follow not only DDO stream to get notified when somebody's streaming on this channel, but my own channel. All of us on the stream teams appreciate you supporting our individual channels as well as the street, the official channel. So, and, uh, you know, YouTube subscriptions and all that are also awesome. We appreciate those as well. I do archive my streams um, onto my YouTube, so if you came in late and want to see what happened earlier, it will be up usually within a day or so. Upload time and processing time it can take several hours. I generally upload right after I finish those, so it should take more than eight-ish hours to go. And keep in mind tonight, let's see it's night. A couple hours after I finish at 2 a.m. Eastern, the damsels will be... Oh, we might want a shrine. Uh, or not. You can, are you going to break the you have fallen into a trap? Of spikes. So yeah, the damsels will be on tonight, as far as I'm aware. Bonnie, are you going to be with the damsels tonight? Pretty sure they're going to be on. I haven't checked Twitter or anything, but I thought there was a message for somebody saying they were going to be on tonight. Oh, you have to kill this guy that fell in the pit, Titan. Bonnie, are you going to be with the damsels tonight? The guy's in the pit, Titan. You need to kill. Are you shrining? I will die if I try to go down there. I don't think I have a missile weapon. So if you have something that can kill him, that would be awesome. That was unfortunate that the guy jumped down into the pit. 
There we go. Now it should be open. And there they all are. This is the last fight if you need to shrine or anything. If you need more buffs, let me know. There's one shrine I haven't used. I'm going to go look for that. Should be this one. I don't think we stopped up here. I haven't, at I least. That. Um, I'm going to go back up here. And I really cannot see the way around here. I just remembered it was on the right side. Alright, so let's go ahead and buff up then. the SO fell asleep watching Close Encounters because the credits are playing and eyes are closed and not moving so fun Be ready to go. Oh, and keep my guys stay around after we end here briefly, and we'll go raid somebody as we end because that's just fun. And Nice Twitch etiquette thing to do. And Let's see who I'm following that's on at the moment, so I can start planning that. Ooh, there's a bunch of people on. So, anybody who was on last week and did the raid, Gemini is on again. We can go raid him again, which is fun. Um, if not that, then I'd say probably Casper. DDO stream. We'll keep the DDO going. We'll go with Gemini. Anybody have a fun message for the raid to Gemini tonight? How about Oh No Not Again? That sounds fun. I think we'll do that. Almost got him. I can do it. I can take him. I can take him. He's almost dead. Yeah. Wow, we didn't break the node yet. That's awesome. So I usually don't kite them back here, and I end up breaking 
the node and then I'm annoyed because the node's broken, the other bears come out while I'm still trying to deal with the dead mother here. Last couple bears. to go eat and uh, just not happening today. Oh, they tethered. What the heck? They tethered back to the center of that lot. We'll take that break. <laughs> cool. So yeah, with all the bonuses and everything, that was pretty good. Thank you to Titan there for that. And uh, I'm going to turn this in real quick and then we'll start the sign off process and head, hand you over to Gemini when we raid here. So the first rule of raiding is don't spoil it. If you're in here and in Gemini's stream, don't spoil the raid. It's much more fun when it just happens all of a sudden. The second thing is you can join, but don't say the message until I do, because that makes it have a better impact. Alright, so let me make sure he's still on, and we'll go raid Gemini here shortly. And the message is going to be... Oh no, not again. Does everybody understand how that works? Go ahead and join his channel. Wait, yes you did, Titan, thank you. Go ahead and join Gemini's channel. Wait for me to head over there and type in Oh no, not again, and then everybody typed Oh no, oh, no not again, and it, it's just sort of a Hey! Raid thing. It's a Twitch thing. So again, I'm going to wrap up here. Um, go ahead and start getting ready for that if you would please I'd appreciate it it's a lot of fun and uh, again DDO stream schedule out of date we've got some changes to make but uh, somebody before me on Tuesday and two people on Thursday we'll, we'll get you to go in there and then if you like what you see here and you want more of me here's where you can find me on Twitch YouTube Twitter my site and Steam and again we're rating uh, Gemini 166 with the message, oh no, not again. And we're going to do that in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go. Thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you next time.